This is the list of the most visible comets for this 2023. We can start with the C, 2017 K2. This comet is exceptional in that it was discovered at a large distance of over 16 astronomical units, while already active. Unfortunately, it remained fainter than expected throughout 2022. K2 reached perihelion on December 19 of 2022 and is currently observable from the Southern Hemisphere. It will still brighten marginally in the first weeks of 2023 as our planet is getting closer to the comet. However, it is no longer expected to become brighter than magnitude 8. In March, the comet will begin to fade more rapidly. By the end of May, it will become unobservable due to low solar elongation. By the time it reappears in the summer as a morning comet in Monoceros, K2 will have already faded beyond magnitude 10.5. Next. C. 2022-A2. In November of 2022, C. 2022-A2 gave us a pleasant surprise when it reappeared from behind the Sun roughly three magnitudes brighter than expected. At the end of 2022, it has already been reported brighter than magnitude 9.5, so it may become just a little brighter than magnitude 9 by the end of January, between closest approach to Earth, January 17, and perihelion, February 2023. Its strongly inclined retrograde orbit favors Northern Hemisphere observers. Next. ZTF C 2022 E3 ZTF is currently the most promising comet of 2023. At the end of 2022, it is already observable in the morning hours in small instruments and binoculars. Perihelion occurs on January 12th but the comet is expected to keep brightening after that until it approaches Earth to 0.28 astronomical units on February 1st. By the end of January, it may become brighter than magnitude 5, while conveniently located for Northern Hemisphere observers in Draco, Ursa Minor and then Camelopardalis. The comet's retrograde orbit and relatively close approach will result in rapid apparent motion. On January 23, Earth will move through the comet's orbital plane. This event may enhance the visibility of the dust tail and perhaps an anti-tail. On February 12, the comet will cross the ecliptic, after which it will gradually become better observable from the southern hemisphere. By March the comet is expected to have faded to magnitude 9. Next. Hartley. 103p. Hartley is a Jupiter family comet with an orbital period of 6.5 years. Its 2023 apparition will be a favorable one in which the comet will approach us to less than 0.39 astronomical units by the end of September shortly before perihelion on October 12th. Though this is not as good as the 2010 apparition, in which the comet approached us to less than 0.12 astronomical units, we may still expect it to brighten to magnitude 7.5 or so. This is the last time this century that 103p Hartley will come as close to Earth as this. The comet will be observable from July to December from both hemispheres. Although it will be higher above the horizon for Northern Hemisphere observers when it is at its brightest in September and October. Next. Enka. 2P. Enka was first discovered by Pierre Mekine. It was named after Johann Franz Encke following the computation of its orbit in 1819. 
and the successful prediction of its return in 1822. It has a very short orbital period of just 3.3 years. The 2023 apparition is not a particularly good one, but the comet should be observable low in the east from the northern hemisphere, a few weeks before perihelion on October 22nd. After perihelion, it will remain too close to the sun. Next. Suchinshin. The 2023-2024 apparition of the Jupiter family comet 62P, Suchinshin is a very favorable one. The comet will be observable in the morning hours from both hemispheres, from October to well into 2024. After perihelion on 24 December 2023, it will approach us to 0.5 astronomical units at good elongation. In addition, the comet recently made two close approaches to Jupiter. Its perihelion distance had already been reduced from 1.49 astronomical units to 1.38 astronomical units due to such an event in 2009. In April 2020, the comet approached Jupiter again, this time as close as 0.27 astronomical units. This approach has further reduced its perihelion distance to 1.26 astronomical units, which may result in increased activity. Fun fact. 62P, Suchinshin will approach Mars to less than 2 million kilometers in April 2049. Next. Kashida. 144P, Kashida is a Jupiter family comet with an orbital period of 7.5 years. The upcoming apparition of this comet is a favorable one, and though perihelion will occur in January of 2024, it may already have brightened to the ninth magnitude by the end of December 2023. It will be observable from the end of October until well into 2024, from both hemispheres.